up gods. Mount Garnet is a three-hour drive from Cairns and has a population of around 450 with 35% being Aboriginal. Mount Garnet is situated on the traditional lands of the Barbaran peoples. It was built as a mining community in the 19th century and several minerals can be found in the area including tin, copper, zinc and garnet. Mining isn't the only industry at Mount Garnet. Some of the best cattle producing properties are in the district. Crops of mangoes, corn and other crops are grown in the nearby Herbert River. Not far from the base of Garnet Hill on the southeast side is Waruma Swamp. This wetland is home to many varieties of birds. Originally, Waruma was a swamp and boasted a water source that never ran dry. Now it is used for a water supply through the township. Fresh water is continually pumped from the Herbert River into Waruma, then pumped out of there into holding tanks for the town supply. Okay, we're heading down the Waruma Swamp Road. I don't know whether this is a wise thing or not, but that's what we're doing. Now how does this work? It tells us nothing. So we had to open the gate and come through and travel down to the swamp. Just hope we can turn around when we get there, we should be able to. It doesn't say anything about not taking caravans in there, so we'll see what happens. Now this supplies the town with water. This also stays wet long after everything else has dried up and it's also great for water birds and things apparently, so we shall see. Sign back there saying if you see anything don't touch it, unexploded there's potential for unexploded ordnance in here. So, might have been used as a practice range or something during the war. So I was pointing back in the right direction to start with. Well, that's Waruma Swamp. I guess when things are buzzing, it would buzz, but at the moment, I saw a few of the water lilies and I saw one bird. There were a couple of others, but they disappeared very quickly. So there's not a lot here just at the moment. At certain times of the year there are literally thousands of black swans on the waters. At the moment, nah. Well not over this side anyway. So the remnants of the old mine are still in evidence around the place. Um, a little left but there's uh, enough to show the scale of the operation at the turn of the century. That uh, after, their, after 1904 the miners turned their attention to the excavation of tin. So if you're looking for gold or you're a gem fossicker, Mount Garnet's the place to come to apparently. There's not a lot there of promise to make it worthwhile trying to go for a wander anywhere to see if we could see anything else. Maybe it's just the wrong time of the year or something. Answered one question, you can get a caravan in there. You can turn it around. And the road, certainly at the moment, is good. Okay, so we're back in town again. So 
between two and four, it's 40 kilometres an hour, and it's 2.20, so it's 40 kilometres an hour past the school. Top Shop News Agency and Bakery. Information Centre and Museum. Cop Shop. This hill reminds me, and I keep saying this, <laughs> I've said it before, but it reminds me of Ravensworth in the old days. Pub halfway down the hill, church on that side. Supermarket. Post office. There's the pub over there on the right. At Garnet Hotel. Historic mining area is out there to the right. Tractor there for sale, 23,000 if you want one. Hotel and Roadhouse. Uh, one lane bridge and 120 metres. Yeah, what's that thing? Is that for sale? Yeah, that, that mobile crane thing's for sale. Okay. Not much water in the creek. Zilch, in fact. Now surprise is 122. We actually turn off to go there. And we're on a road train route. So that, my friends, was Mount Garnet. If you enjoyed this video, there's over 200 more just like it on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell and we'll let you know when our next video is available. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you weren't that impressed, please don't hit the dislike button. Instead, tell us why so that we can do something about it. Thanks for watching.